All right, guys, Tush coming back at you Thursday evening, and uh, we've got the doors on a work stand in front of us. We're still waiting for the uh, fenders to uh, dry a little more, and we don't want any shrink back from the uh, primer, so we won't touch those for another uh, day or two. But the doors have been primed and been sitting for probably over a week or so, so we're not going to get any more shrinkage out of that primer. So we'll go ahead and uh, we will um, start sanding this down. I did do a little uh, spot putty repair down here. There was a little pit. So we've got that uh, addressed and we'll sand that down and hopefully that will be okay. We're just going to guide coat this. We've got our sandpaper soaking. We're going to start with 400 grit wet and do the initial blocking with 400 grit. Then we're going to go down to 600 grit and finish that just a little bit more uh, finely and smoothly. So that's the process on the door. So hopefully these are going to block out okay. They should since all of the body work has been done previously and just uh, covered with the high build urethane primer. So these hopefully will block out fairly easily and then we can move on fairly quickly after this. All right, first door is done. Just doing the water test and it looking pretty good. We've got it down to 600 grit and uh, sanded the uh, sides bottom as well. And uh, we're going to scotch bright a few other areas that are tough to get to that the, uh, the door panel primarily covers. We're just going to give a really thin coat of paint in there anyway. There's no sense wasting paint on the inside of the door. So anyway, uh, that's looking good. So we're just about ready to start working on the remaining door. And we'll put this one aside and uh, cross another panel off the list ready to get painted. All right, we're going to make it a little shorter night tonight. We've got the one door done. We've got the other one uh, sprayed with guide coat, and we're going to stop there. Um, one thing I'm just thinking about before I go for the night, <clears throat> I've been uh, looking at the space that I have in the garage as far as painting the, uh, the fenders and doors, so the remaining panels, and I'm thinking that I might be able to get them done in one shot as opposed to doing you know, the driver's side and the passenger side at the same time. Just thinking of a way I can arrange the panels and I'm thinking about moving a few things out of the garage temporarily at least to give me a bit more space like the welder and the vacuum cleaner and the jack and all that stuff doesn't need to be in there so I can get a bit more space on the right hand side of the garage. And I could probably put uh, both sets of fenders over here and I'm thinking of actually hanging the doors. So I'm going to get some uh, strong wire and put a couple of the bolts in the doors on the ends and hanging both doors and painting those front and back while they're hanging. So I'm thinking about that anyway, so I'm not sure whether I want to do it just from a, again, a concentration uh, type sort of deal. And again, I'm going to have to do those two stripes on the nose of the fenders. So I'm trying to weigh pros and cons about doing all the panels at the same time versus doing them, you know, driver's side and then passenger side. And uh, we'll have to figure it out. Uh, right now I'm still kind of on the uh, three, pa three panels at a time sort of thing, but there's potential for me to... Uh, go with all six panels at the same time which ultimately would probably be a, a little bit uh, better decision in the end as far as color matching is concerned so anyway we'll uh, think about that over the next few days while we're wet sanding away all right guys friday afternoon and it's a bit of a rainy day out there today it's not necessarily a bad thing as you can tell by the color of my grass it's been fairly dry up here and we could actually use some rain comfortable in the garage about 25 uh, 24 degrees Celsius, somewhere around 75, 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Fenders are waiting patiently for me to uh, start on them. I did just get back from my uh, second COVID shot. I got into my non-sanding arm, so we're able to continue on the door that we left off uh, on yesterday. We did get it uh, guide coated, and we're just about ready to start wet sanding it again. Got my paper soaking over there. We're going to do, again, 400 grit. And then we'll move on to 600 as the finish. And we'll add it to the completed pile over here. Hopefully, uh, once this door is finished, we can then probably start uh, tomorrow sanding on the uh, fenders and getting those ready for base and clear whenever that will be. All right, let's uh, crank the tunes up and uh, we'll start sanding and hopefully make short order of this door. All right, guys, that second door is now sanded and looking good, nice and shiny. It sanded up quite well. So the last uh, element are these uh, rear and front fenders, and as mentioned, we'll start working on those tomorrow. I think we'll start with the driver's side front, which is the worst of the four fenders. Need to do a little bit of work down in this, this area down here. Needs a little bit of reshaping and some probably some repriming. Then I think we'll move to the, uh, the passenger side fender where we had that uh, primer 
uh, the runs in the primer where I got a little too close with the gun so we'll uh, get those sanded out and make that look a little bit better and then we'll move on to the uh, the rear fenders I don't think need a lot of work just uh, obviously some sanding involved but I don't think it needs any touch-ups so we should be good to go on the rear fenders again I mentioned about the uh, badge layout about uh, possibly doing that later I still haven't come to a hundred percent decision on that but uh, we'll find out in the next week or two I don't expect that these panels would be able to be put into paint probably for at least two weeks time um, by the time I pull the body tub out get the uh, fenders on and aligned for the uh, fender stripe and for the weather to cooperate and I've got some uh, you know, days I'm going to be enjoying over the long weekend in July so uh, I would say it's probably going to be two weeks away anyway before we get paint on this on this uh, on these remaining panels anyway so uh, it's not going to be a quick process it's going to be a little bit longer and obviously all these panels need to be sanded which is going to take a bit of a effort all on its own so that's it for now guys we'll get back out here tomorrow hopefully we're not feeling any uh, uh, ill effects from the uh, second COVID shot and I don't have a dead arm or achy body or extreme tiredness if if not we'll definitely be out here all right have a good night all right guys welcome back to the garage now Saturday the 26th of June and just come up to about 1 30 in the afternoon and uh, we've got the first fender that we're going to work on this is the passenger side front fender the one with the runs have decided to work on this one first just wanted to take down this stand first to be able to work on the left hand side of the garage so we're going to go with this fender first which is the second worst of the uh, four fenders so uh, we'll go with this one first we'll leave the worst to last I think and we'll do the two rear fenders next so we've got this guide coated and uh, we're going to try to get these uh, nasty runs out shouldn't be too much of an issue again it's only primer so we've got our bucket here full of water our uh, 400 grit initially as mentioned and then we'll finish it with 600 grit once we get this smoothed down a little bit so uh, all we're going to do is be sanding today arms a little sore body's a little stiff but I couldn't sit on the couch any longer so we're out here. Alright passenger side front fender is done and I didn't do myself any favors that's for sure I uh, when I sprayed it it's got a bit of texture in it so it's got a bit of orange peel in it and obviously that makes it a lot more difficult to sand this one's not so bad so again maybe it was just that first fender that I had some issues with with those runs and I was putting it on pretty thick so uh, yeah with a lot of orange peel it becomes a little bit more difficult to sand the panels out and this one was the hardest panel to sand yet. I used a lot of sandpaper just to get the texture out of it. Anyway we're down to 600 grit. It's looking good now so uh, we're going to move on to that uh, passenger side rear fender and we're going to get it up to the table here. We just had a bit of a clean out in the garage. It does make a mess this uh, wet sanding that's for sure but uh, we'll get her cleaned up in the end. Alright just a quick update for you and we'll keep on sanding. Alright guys just after 7 p.m. and the passenger side rear is now done and looking good there's a few little touch-ups with a scotch bright down in the uh, hard to reach areas but other than that it's pretty much ready to go I can't imagine how many hours I've spent sanding these fenders filling sanding priming metal work etc it's mind-boggling I was trying to figure it out while I was sanding and I gave up anyway uh, pretty good day today to get those two fenders done wasn't really expecting to get much done today so happy that they got done and tomorrow We'll get out here and uh, we'll finish the other two. We'll leave the last for, we'll leave the worst for last, and we'll do the uh, rear fender first when we come out tomorrow. We've got our bucket already filled with clean water, ready for that to happen tomorrow. So uh, hopefully, get out here bright and early. We'll finish that fender off, and then uh, we'll do the body work as mentioned on this lower portion that'll make that look a little bit better and be acceptable to me. And then we'll move on from there getting pretty close to uh, having to get the uh, body tub rolling chassis back out of the trailer looking forward to that all right guys thanks for watching talk to you later all right guys Sunday afternoon back in the garage just about 2 p.m. and we're gonna make it an easy day out here today we're not gonna do any sanding my hands need a bit of a break they're pretty raw from all the uh, sanding so I'm gonna give them the day off and uh, we're just gonna concentrate on cleaning and reorganizing the garage <clears throat> in order to uh, attempt to get the uh, chassis and body out of the trailer maybe today we'll see how things go but we're just going to be uh, clearing the sort of left hand side of the garage here 
and moving most of the things to the right hand side of the garage in order to make some space and to make sure nothing falls on the car so uh, we're going to take down the uh, fenders from the stand put those over there against the wall temporarily move the tables out of the way although we'll have to set that back up when we get back to sanding but that won't be for another day or two anyway so that's what the plan is for today just a little bit of organizing in order to get that body tub back out of the Cars back in the garage temporarily so we can uh, fit those front fenders and the bonnet. We might go ahead and fit the uh, boot lid as well. We'll have to wait and see. Although the boot lid will have to come off again just to facilitate getting the uh, rear fenders bolted up a little easier. So they're going to be a challenge as it is. So it's probably just easier for me to leave the uh, boot lid off for now as well. Although I'd love to see it on the car. I think I'll end up just having to take it back off again as well I have to uh, with the bonnet as well just to make uh, things a little bit easier when it comes to putting the front wings back on the car. All right, awfully hot out here, obviously with the rain, very humid. And uh, I'm gonna take a bit of a break and go inside in the air conditioning, cool off a bit. All right guys, Wednesday the 30th of June, and uh, we're just back out in the garage playing around a little bit. It's been pretty hot out here the last couple of days, so I haven't really done too much work. Those fenders are just still standing by with the uh, remaining two still to be sanded. But we haven't done that yet. I did get the car out of the uh, trailer, as you could probably see from the previous video. We did get it up on jack stands. So we're uh, just getting ready to uh, work on it to be able to put the bonnet and the fenders back on. Uh, I've been tracking down some hardware, uh, getting the uh, J clips together for the fender mounts. Here's some of the old ones and some of the new ones. And uh, I've got to go through the bins basically. I have the uh, the bags packed away for the uh, fender mounts, so um, I've got them in there somewhere. These are just some spares I had kicking around that I found, so I do have bagged up in there somewhere the actual fender mounting hardware kits. So we've got to go through the bins and pull those out in order to mount those front fenders in order to get the stripe location marked out once I get the bonnet put back on. So a bit of work to do in order to get that, so uh, we'll move this... Uh, stuff out that I've put here temporarily and uh, we'll get into the bins and uh, we'll try and find what we're looking All for. Alright, Thursday July the 1st and it's Canada Day up here today, national holiday. Canada Day up Canada Way. So happy Canada Day to all my fellow Canadians and a happy upcoming July 4th weekend to all my US viewers. Anyway, we're back on the project today. We did manage to get our uh, wings sorted out as far as the fasteners were concerned. So we have all our baggies bagged up with the appropriate fasteners. We went through the uh, assembly manual and uh, we've got everything put together and ready to go as far as assembly on the wings. I had some old J clips. I call these J clips. I can't remember the actual name of these clips but um, they have a weird name. I'm just trying to think of it off the top of my head at the moment. But anyway, uh, I had some old clips. What I, I actually like the old clips better than the new clips so I was actually soaking them in some evapo rust. so we just pulled those out. We're drying those off. And we'll probably give them a quick coat of paint and reutilize those where we can. Obviously, I don't have enough to do all the fenders, but maybe in some critical locations, I'll put those in. So those are ready to go. I did actually fit the wing vent back in the uh, body tub because when I put the fender on, 
this uh, this wing vent currently floats a little bit, and it's obviously got to fit in with the uh, with the frame that I actually welded into the um, fender itself. So we have to actually locate this at some point once the fender is on and solidly mounted. So what I'm going to do now is when I fit this fender to, like I mentioned, align the bonnet stripe with the stripes going down the fenders, I'm also at the same time going to mark out the location for the wing vents. So I can probably, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to riv nut, riv nut those in there. So I've obviously got to drill holes and put riv nuts in so I can actually fasten those once the fenders go on. So again, it's kind of twofold here. Uh, bonnet stripe or fender stripe and locating the wing vents in the fenders or actually on the body tub to fit on the body tub to fit through the fender so hopefully that makes sense so that's what we're doing today we've got a big uh, wide masking tape roll there we're going to actually mask up the painted areas so we don't mark those up with the fenders when we're uh, doing the trial fitting here so i think we're just about ready to do that i do have to pull the uh, front bumper off so we're going to do that first because the bumper is obviously going to be in the way of fitting the fenders so that's pretty easy. It's only two bolts, so uh, I'll just have to be careful when I do that, not to scratch anything up front. That's the whole thing now is, uh, you know, just trying to avoid scratches or any more scratches on the uh, freshly painted parts. So we'll just be a little bit more careful when we're working. Although, you know, things happen. You remember the firewall up there where the uh, rivet gun got a bit of the uh, fresh paint. So we'll try to mitigate that as much as possible. All right. Uh, let me get to work. All right, the grill and bumper are off, and we knew we were going to have to go backwards in certain areas of this car, and that the parts were on temporarily, so these were not bolted up fully for the last time, so again, I knew that these had to come off, so no big deal. We did get the fender back on, and I have to say, it's looking really good. It's good to see fenders back on this car. It's been a while since I've seen a fender on this car. Um, so yeah, it fit up really nicely. The only problem I'm having is the scuttle pieces from inside to keep the uh, dirt and debris from going back towards the A-post. These were never fitted on the car, and uh, it's the first time they've actually been on the car, I think, with the fenders. And uh, I think I'm going to have to trim this plate a little bit. It seems to be interfering with the fender pushing all the way in, so I guess the profile is a little bit off on this uh, scuttle panel. So we'll have to figure that out, uh, figure a way to get that trimmed up. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. I just have to do a bit more thinking about it. But uh, everything else fitted up fine. It fits up great at the front here as it was before. But you never know in the final fitment stages, things can change, right? So I'm happy with the uh, sill fitment down there. Um, I've got the uh, vents in and position where they need to be. So I'm going to try to mark those out. As mentioned, I don't know if you're going to be able to see here. But uh, that's what I'm talking about as far as the flanges are concerned. See where the X's are. Those basically need to be drilled through and either, I don't know, I was thinking about doing riv nuts behind there and just uh, screwing them in with riv nuts or just doing some stainless screws, whatever is going to work. But I'm thinking the riv nut route might be the best way to go. But uh, I'll do a little bit more thinking about that. Maybe that's overdoing it. But um, anyway, those vents have to, uh, a little bit more work need to be done to those. They need to be welded fully at the top, uh, sanded down, blasted, primed, etc. And we've got to figure a way to uh, put these grills in here permanently. I believe most of the guys will rivet these in. So uh, we're going to have to figure out how to do that. That's a Herald grill that's been cut up. If you guys don't know what that is and you haven't watched my previous videos, that's from an old Herald. So apparently that's what they used on the Works rally cars when they did these style vents as well. Anyway, so a bit more work to do on the vents, um, but I'm happy, happy with the uh, fender fitment. I'll let you have a shot from this way. Again, this is the fender that needs the most work on the car. I still have to do some work down here on this body line. I'm not quite happy with it. It needs a little bit of filler work. But other than that, it looks pretty darn good. So, I guess we'll leave you with that, and we'll start fitting up the uh, passenger side fender at some point. All right, guys, it's the start of another week, and it's been a while since I've been out in the garage. I uh, spent the weekend in Ottawa, Ontario, and had the opportunity to finally visit uh, my family, and particularly my parents, who I haven't seen in uh, a year and seven months because of the pandemic, and uh, had a nice weekend at uh, my sister's with uh, my brother and their significant others uh, attending as well. So. It was a uh, fun uh, time that's been a long time coming, that's for sure. And I'm sure that 
many of you are in the same situation as well. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to uh, get back to Ottawa in the near future and spend some more time with uh, my family. So I was just uh, checking back on the uh, videos that I've taken on this car in the last little while. And it's been a while since I've actually posted a video. And we left off uh, installing the front uh, driver's side fender. I have also installed the uh, passenger side fender now. And we've got that fitting up and looking good. So I'm um, just looking at next steps now. I still need to uh, sand this fender here and one of the rear fenders over there. So I still not got to uh, finish sanding those yet, so that's still yet to I come. think what I'm going to do today, however, is I'm going to remove a little bit of the interior panel kit, uh, just these side pieces here, so I can get to the uh, bolt-up locations for the rear fenders. I'm thinking of actually going ahead to mount the rear fenders, because remember I told you that I have a little project to do on uh, finding the location of the uh, side marker lamps and badges that say TR250 on them and I was a little bit concerned about getting those located properly and I was thinking that I was going to have to do it afterwards when the fenders were painted and mounted but I figured what I can do now is I can actually just put them on the car temporarily much like I've done with the front fenders and get the badge and lighting marked out and drilled out before we go to paint. So that's what we're going to do as the first job of the day we'll grab our Phillips screwdriver and uh, we'll remove those panels and we will uh, attempt to fit up the uh, rear panels, or the rear fenders, rear wings, temporarily. Alright guys, Tuesday evening, and we're just out to uh, shut down the garage for the evening. It's quarter to nine, and uh, still pretty warm out in the garage. Uh, 30 degrees Celsius, so that's about, uh, I'm going to say 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and fairly high humidity. So not exactly the most comfortable evening to work out in the garage. And anyway, we did get some things accomplished uh, this evening. We uh, did manage to get the uh, rear fenders on the car. I'm not sure where I left off, but they are both both now uh, mounted on the car and uh, seem to be fitting pretty well. And uh, they're looking good. I'll be eager to get them uh, finally painted and bolted to the car for the last time. Um, so one of the jobs for tomorrow, scheduled for tomorrow, is the uh, fitting of the uh, side marker light and the badging, the TR250 badging on the rear wings so we'll get those marked out and drilled and fitted so that's a job for tomorrow. The other job for tomorrow is to get the bonnet out of the uh, house and where I've got it stored safely. I did manage to get the buffers uh, put in place here on the inner fenders, these little uh, rubber buffers so they are screwed in. I'm not sure if they're in the exact location they were supposed to be this is where the previous owner had them, so that's where they went back. I did also get the uh, the pins mounted up here, the buffer cones uh, up here as well for the bonnet, so those are ready to go. So maybe we'll invite Alin up tomorrow to uh, give me a hand to install the bonnet. And uh, we'll get those side stripes uh, marked up before we get the fenders off, and then I guess we got to go back and do some sanding and some final refinishing on this fender. And one of these fenders. I can't remember which side it is. Uh, this is the non-sanded side, so basically the driver's side still needs to be done as far as sanding is concerned. I'm not too concerned about the finishing this rear fender. It should be quite easy. This one needs a bit of work as mentioned. Alright, I'm going to shut her down then and uh, we'll get back out here tomorrow. We'll upload this so you can see that I've been out here over the last week or so and doing a little tinkering here and there. I know it's not the most exciting video but um, everything's got to be done in a certain order and a certain process and uh, can't skip ahead to final assembly until everything is obviously painted so uh, that's the exciting part is the final assembly but there's a whole bunch of work to get to that point anyway alright guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll get back out here tomorrow and we'll pick up where we left off